welcome to Marlene's music class. I'm Marlene. These are my daughters Ava Hi. and Hero. Hello. And they've been learning music since they were four years old. Now today we're going to learn how to play our names. Now what does that mean? Well, it means firstly we're going to learn some basic rhythms. We're going to learn what they look like and then we're going to learn how to clap them. And then lastly, we're going to learn how to play our name using those rhythms that we've learned today. So are you ready girls? Yeah. Okay, so first up, you might have heard things mentioned like quavers, crotchets, uh, the word rhythm. Rhythm is the sound that you're hearing, and this here is a quaver. He's quite cute. Look, he looks like a tadpole with like a little tail. Now here's worth half a beat. Now that sounds a bit complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another little quaver next to him, and he's also worth half a beat. So half and half equals a whole. A whole. So let me take off the halves now. Let me take the little tails off because this is very cute. When you add two quavers, when you put them next to each other, that's how you join them together. Look, they hold hands. Like you guys, like sisters. There you go. They link arms. And that is what quavers look like. So, should we clap quavers? Let's go. <laughs> These are quavers. There you go. Have a go. Clap away. Quaver, quaver, quaver. That's the sound that mum or your brother or sister, make sure they're clapping correctly, make sure they're doing their quavers. Next we're going to learn what a crotchet looks like. How long do you think a crotchet lasts for? One. Correct, one beat. Let me write quaver there so we remember quaver. Now let's write crotchet. Now he looks very much like a quaver but look he doesn't have a little tail. So he just, he's there, like that. And he's worth one beat. So let's Clap a crotchet. Off we go. One, 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 one. Crotchet, crotchet, crotchet. That's that. Clap away and get ready because we're going to swap over to quavers. Very good. And stop. So we've learnt quavers now and we've learnt crotchet. So next we're going to learn who's this guy? He is called a minimum. And how long does he last for? Two. Two. Two beats. And look, oops, look, he looks exactly like quavers, but with that tail, and a bit like a crotchet, but he's not coloured in. So he's just like see-through. So he's a minimum, and he's for two beats. So let's clap a minimum. One, two, one, two, one, two, and there we go. Right, let's have a little quick quiz. So I'm going to call out either quaver, crotchet, or minim, and you're going to clap it. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Crotchet. <laughs> clap away. Here are the crotchets. Great. Now we're going to change to quavers. Nice. Like rhythm. And minims. One, two, one, two. Excellent. Have got it? Okay, so let's rub this out and let's now try and clap our names. So first up, we need to figure out how many sounds are in our name. Now this is quite easy to do. Put your hand on your chin. This is like syllables or sounds in your name. So however many times your chin touches your hand when you speak is how many sounds are in your name. So let me do my name. I will do Myling or ma 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 ma. Two sounds in my name. How about you? Ava. Two. Ava. Hero. I mean, we've all got two. We've all got two sounds in our names. But maybe you've got more sounds. You could be Emily. Three sounds. Or you could be Ben. One sound. So figure out how many sounds are in your name. So let's do Ava's name first. Ava. How many sounds? Two. So what do you think would have? Quaver sounds. Oh, the sound of two sounds. The quaver. One, two. Quaver. Ava the quaver. <laughs> and your surname is? Class. How many sounds in class? One. So a crotchet. Crotchet. Perfect. Remember no tail on the crotchet. So should we clap that? Let's all do it together. And Ava class. Ava class. Ava class. Ava class. Super simple. Right. Let's do... Hero's name, we already know that you've got two sounds yeah. and the same surname. So what should we do? Should we put the middle name in? Yeah. So let's do Hero. Harper Class. Harper Class. 
Right, so how many times in hero? Um, two quavers. Two quavers, good girl. And then two quavers. And then two more quavers, again in harper. And then a crotchet. And then a crotchet in class. Let's clap hero's name all together, ready? And hero, harper, class. Hero, harper, class. <laughs> Excellent. You have to do your name. We can do my name. Uh, Miling. Should we put my middle name in? Yeah. So I'm Miley, which is, we really know of two quavers, Miley, but do you know my middle name? My middle name is Angela. So that's three notes, one, two, three. Again, they look a little bit like crotchets, but we draw a line there, which makes them look a little bit like quavers. And then we draw a three on top, and that is called a triplet. So they're like, well, they're like triplets, like brothers or sisters, all joined together, all holding hands. So they make three sounds, Angela, if your name is Emily, Anthony, this is what you would clap, a triplet. And then I'm class, again, which is a crotch one sound. So let's try my name. Miley, Angela, class. Miley, Angela, class. Great. Okay, let's do a name with four sounds in it. Angelica. Angelica is four sounds. What Ariana. Ariana Grande. Great. So Ariana. And we're going to do one, two, three, four. Look, looks a bit like crotchets. We draw a line, looks a bit like quavers. And now we're going to make it a bit faster. So we've drawn another line there. Now that's called a semi quaver. Good girl, Ava. Semi quaver. Semi, like half. So we're going to write Ariana. And grande, how many sounds in grande? Two. Um, two quavers. Good then. girl, hero. Ariana Grande. Let's clap Ariana Grande's name. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. So let's do the text one more time. Ava plus. Ava plus. Ava plus. Now let's do hero half a class. Hero half a class. Hero half a class. Let's do Miley Angela class. Miley Angela class. Miley Angela class. And the last one, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Ava, I know you're chomping the bit. There's one more name you would love to do, isn't there? Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Just stick her in the top. What would she be then? She'd be two quavers because Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Eilish. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. Have a go. Billy Irish, Billy Irish. Okay, so now we all know how to clap our names. But I did promise that I'd teach you to play your names. Now, not everyone's got an instrument in their house, like a piano or a cello or a recorder, but what you all most likely have are uh, pots, pans, cups, anything that you can hit that makes a sound. So quickly, whatever you've got, whatever you're allowed to do, whatever your mum your mom says you're allowed to use, go and grab it if it makes a sound. So see what you can find, something that makes a sound, a glass maybe, a chopstick on it, um, maybe a wooden spoon. There you go. Ava's come back with a, like a sieve. That's good, that's good. Here are you've got, what have you come back with? I've come back with a Darth Vader. With a Darth Vader mug. Perfect. Okay, so how would you do Darth Vader? Um, Darth is a crotchet. Yeah, right, so right there then. Darth is a crotchet because he's one sound. Darth, yeah. And what would Vader be? And then, Vader, Vader, Vader. Uh, two Quavers. Darth. It's like Darth Quaver. <laughs> very good. That's very good. Darth Quaver. That's good. Darth, Darth Rock Quaver. Vader. Okay. That's good because I'm a big Star Wars fan. So uh, let's play Darth Vader. Let's do his name. One, two, three, four. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Very good. So I want you all to pick a name now. You could do your own name, a class here for Ava, or you could do my name, or you could do Darth Vader, or you can. You want to do Ariana really Grande? Oh, Billie. Billie Eilish. Billy Eilish. Let's do it. So pick your name and off you go. Let's just play it away. Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Billy Eilish. Billy. And I'm doing my name on the board. do peanut butter peanut butter that's four sounds like ariana ariana or you could do your pet we've got our fish 
Squishy. Squishy. What would Squishy be? Squishy, um, squishy. He would be them. He would be two quavers. Two quavers, but we've also got another fish he calls. Watermelon. Watermelon would be? Seven quavers. Good girl. So there you go. Walk around the house and try and discover lots of different sounds. Remember how to figure out how many sounds are in a word and then go and play it. And uh, I'd love to hear how you get on. That's it for me. We've learned how to read basic rhythms. We've learned how to clap them. And we've learned how to play our names. Now, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe. It's completely for free. And make sure you like on the page. And that's it from uh, the Glass Girls. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>